Obviously, it's important to understand when we say offense coordinator here, it's coordinated offense that's in. Does that make sense? Where if yes. you hire someone and say, right. okay, you're, bring. bring your system, let's take two years, the system's here. It's in the system, not going anywhere. So we're, we hire people to coach our system. And it's not a uh, dictatorship where this is the way we're doing it. No, this is the way we've done it, and this is where we make it better. So it's a very unique situation here. We don't hire coordinators to come in and say, hey, let's let's enhance it and make it better. And that's where I think uh, Tom was so valuable. Tom added a lot of elements. Ed Warner has been phenomenal uh, enhancing as a line coach co-coordinator. And Tim Beck is slowly bringing his, you know, his added to make it better. So it's much different here than you know, yeah. here. When coaches make transitional coordinator changes, a lot of times that you see a mess. You see three offense coordinators that come in and bring their own system this way now. They say, that darn quarterback is playing bad. So the quarterback's playing bad. He had three different systems in three years. The good thing about JT and Cardell, we've been at the same time. We're not, it's not changing. And just to follow up, is that ever hard in hiring guys? Are there some guys who would want to come in, like when you were hiring Tim Beck? Are there some guys maybe who would have taken that job and said, no, I want I to bring my system? I, that's a good, I think what I, I, I really thought about it back in, uh, you know what I was saying, in 2012 about bringing them. I mean, some guys were calling me, and I was like, no, very good coaches. And I thought, but that's, that's not what we're going to be. But here's what we're going to do, and that's when I put the laser lights on top, because I thought he'd be the perfect guy. And final 